Here they come, ladies and gentlemen, the great ground pounders. The Silver Crown Series is underway at Decoin. Up front, CJ Leary's going to take him down in turn number one. Rolled off on the outside of that starting row. Cockrum settles back into the number two spot. Everybody looking for real estate down on the inside. A little maneuver taking place for the number eight. Great restart. We got chaos out of turn number four. One upside down. All that taking place back at the tail of the field. They were four wide, and unfortunately, that did not work out so well as the red flag comes out. So Dallas Hewitt, the number 57 car, the one that's capsized down there just out of turn number four. Hewitt taking a look at it, and he's tough enough. He might just grab that and roll it over himself. We talk about that strike fast, strike hard. There goes the green flag up in the air, and the hammers go down. Last time I thought Davey Ray got a good restart. Let's see what he does this time. Dusty quick down in the order. And oh, Davey Ray looking for second on Cockrum. Got him picked off. Oh, my goodness. Davey Ray, a stellar restart for the number eight car. Yeah, second time he's had a really good restart. Now, here's Cockrum trying to fight back. But Davey Ray's got that Cornell number eight looking great. Looking great indeed. Trying to run down C.J. Leary up front. The number six car, your race leader, down into turn number three. Back behind a little shuffle for position as well. And Cockrum might be under attack for P3 on the field. Charge out of the corner, down the front, straight away. Justin Grant was there. Cockrum quick down to the inside, picks off Ray on the entrance down in turn number one. He says, not so fast, my friend. We've got a battle up front. Here comes the team. Nipping at the heels of C.J. Leary. Slips out to the south side there for the number 71 car. And then had a little slip of the grip. Possibly about two car lengths out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. C.J. Leary trying to hit the marks and put it around the racetrack as well as possible. Go rip into the corner. And again, Cockrum able to close. Getting into turn wow. number three up into the rough stuff. Oh, I don't get it. He was hustling hard in between three and four. Now he swings wide down the back. Runs straight away. Here comes the Chief. And after runner deep into turn number one, side by side. Cockrum going to come out ahead, at least by a nose. The exit out, turn number two, lap traffic down the inside. And CJ's going to have to let him get by. Yeah, that's a pick right there. That's going to hamper CJ Leary. But Clean air out in front of that number 71 car. Watch him go. Now, Shane Cockrum stretched out a little bit of a CJ. Leary got trouble over turn number four, Chad. Davey Ray around. Yep. He's going to bring out the caution flag, the number eight car. And unfortunately, trouble again for the number 91 of Justin Grant. This green flag comes back out. 86 laps remain on this one. This time by. Jane Crockham, it's wonderful to watch these cars. They fire up, and those rear tires swell up. They get really tall down the front straightaway. That about 150 mile per hour straightaway speeds we saw in a hot lap session or practice session earlier on. And something to watch as he comes back around here for Cockrum. And oh my goodness gracious, what a heartbreak that would be. He's down on the inside. Trying to finish this one off. Oh, he's got a it's tire down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Watching Cockrum tiptoeing down into turn number one and two. He is fighting that 71 car around the racetrack. He's off the pace. Unbelievable. This heartbreak. Is what happens in Silver Crown Racing. Oh, my goodness. Here goes C.J. Leary around the outside. The number six car takes over the number one spot. To win on a mile track. His father, of course, the Silver Crown Series champion. Won the Hoosier 100, one of his signature wins. And now Logan trying to reel in your leader, C.J. Leary. And now turn number two and down to back straight away. Soon to be six laps to go this next time by the space or the deficit is Leary slowed down into the corner. And to the point goes the number 22, oh Logan Seavey takes over the top spot. Unbelievable. That's the nature of this sport, of this discipline, of this style of racing. That's going to bring out the yellow. So set to go. The 22 of Logan Seavey. Can he go the distance? Three laps remain as he cuts it loose out of turn number four. Shane Cockrum, maybe a faster race car back behind. He'll charge down into the corner. Seavey down on the inside. Out of turn number oh, two. Kind of treads carefully. Shane Cockrum going to race around the number 22 car. That is not a race for the lead per se. As CV still your only car on the lead lap. Let him ease on through. He's got some time to work with here for the number 22. You don't have to be the fastest car out yeah, here. He's just got to tiptoe through and he knows it. 
this has got to be the longest two miles of his life. Preserve and persevere for Logan seeing the 22 car. Cockrum's going to go like the wind up front. We'll take him across the white flag display. One mile round for Logan Seavey. Needs a good run down the back straightaway so he can coast onto the front shoot if the need be. So you watch him out of turn number two as he makes his way to turn number three. Seavey will re fourth inside the top five for most of the day. Not into the books just yet. Disappointment a year ago. Today it's going to be elation for the Sutter California driver. Out of turn number four, Ted Horn 100, Logan Seavey picks up the double checkers and he puts that one into the books. And up and out comes Logan Seavey, makes some noise for the winner of the 68th running of the Ted Horn 100. So with that, we'll send it down with Christy. A long-awaited one for Logan CV indeed. He picks up his first win on a dirt mile with the USAC Silver Crown Series. Not his first win, of course, but his first win on one of the legendary dirt miles that they all look forward to all year long. We've had some bad luck this year when it comes to racing on this exact surface, but Logan CV pulling it off here today like he has in the past right here at the Jacoin Mile with the ARCA Series, but nonetheless so rewarding to do with USAC Silver Crown. And Logan, you know what they say, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good and today was all about right place right time was it just that kind of day yeah I mean I think we knew early that we were running really hard and um, fuel was gonna play a factor and I really wasn't sure about you know tire wear but um, battled some adversity a lot there early my my radio kept coming unplugged and I was driving one-handed trying to get it plugged back in but um, yeah you know it comes down to just you know having good horsepower on these tracks and and good fuel mileage and that's what we have here you know uh, Jimmy Kitasaki and Bosco uh, supply us with the great engine and and you know it's it's perfect for uh, these Silver Crown races uh, makes just the right amount of power really drivable and then uh, really good on fuel so um, I saw Jerry slow down I assumed it was fuel I was talking uh, to Ronnie there and I was like I think I think he's running out and um, surprised Co Cochran made it as long as he did and then I wanted to pit there on that last hill to get fuel since we were you know the only car in the lead lap and uh, we couldn't make the decision fast enough but uh, like I said, this thing gets such good fuel mileage that I wasn't wasn't super worried, but uh, I'd rather play it safe. Logan CV picks up the 2022 edition of the Ted Horn 100.